Number 10, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is one of many people from the Kardashian crew that I could have chosen for this list, but unlike some of her sisters, Khloe has opened up to fans about her cosmetic surgery journey, revealing her only regret about having a nose job. For years, Keeping Up With Kardashian's fans had questioned whether Khloe had any work done on her nose or any other part of her body, really. During the show's reunion special last year, she confirmed that she had the surgery. She had apparently been hesitant to share the information with fans, as she she claimed that the world is just a bit too easy to set off and that people would more than likely bombard her with backlash. Which is exactly what happened. After revealing the truth, she was blasted with questions left and right. Why? What? When? Where? Huh? According to Chloe, the main reason she wanted to try something different was because she was tired of being compared to her siblings all the time. The Kardashian clan is large and filled with basically one of every kind of crazy. But Chloe has maintained that she regrets trying to alter herself just to be a little bit more different than her sisters. Now, Number nine. Cardi B. Cardi B has never been coy about the plastic surgery procedures that she's had done. During an Instagram Live video in December 2022, she talked about a procedure that she had done to her bum bum years ago and gave her followers a word of advice while doing so. Following the birth of her son, Wave, that's a great name, in September in 2021, people said that they thought she had work done, when in reality, she had gotten surgery in August to have 95% of her bipolymer bum bum injection removed. She went on to tell people that they should do research and listen to their doctors, not just when it comes to bum bum injections, but also Brazilian bum lifts. Seriously, why can't I say butt? And all the other plastic and cosmetic surgeries. In 2019, the rapper got candid about having to cancel and postpone shows because she needed time off to recover from a liposuction. On Twitter, she talks about having to miss work for two weeks because of that. And in that same year, Cardi also told Entertainment Tonight that she had a chest lift after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, and was unhappy with needing to take the time off. So Cardi's biggest problem is not with the procedures themselves, but the recovery time it seems to take. Well, fear no more with InstaLift. Now I'm just kidding, that's not real, but oh man, I've got a good pitch for Shark Tank. Number eight, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen has no issue when it comes to being open about what plastic surgery procedures she has done. The 35-year-old model recently took to her Instagram story to show off the results of the cosmetic surgery procedure that she revealed she underwent, buccal fat removal. The goal of buccal fat removal is to thin the cheeks and specifically in the area of the cheek hollows, and I'm not talking about face cheeks. While she claims that the removal was a success and that she could see the results, the aftermath of the situation left her on the other side of the argument. She was candid about this procedure. Many were still questioning how she got her face cheeks to look so perfect though. Speculation started running wild of people claiming to know for a fact that she had fillers. In fact, an entire YouTube channel was dedicated to proving that this woman was made of silicone. She addressed the rumors online and claimed that she did in fact receive the aforementioned bum bum solution, but she denied that the claims that she received any kind of cheek fillers. Instead, she made it known that she was not an advocate for body morphing, claiming that the only time that that should ever be done is for medical purposes. Number seven, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie has been a staple in the world of Hollywood ever since starring in the iconic 1978 horror flick, Halloween. She slowly made herself a force to be reckoned with, making her way through several iconic shows and films before landing an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in last year's Everything Everywhere All at Once. Jamie has been very open about her life when asked in interviews. She is an open book ready to be read by any and all that are interested. When the topic of plastic surgery comes up, Jamie is very loud with her opinion, claiming people should not F with their faces. In 1985, Jamie underwent a handful of procedures to increase her beauty. She got Botox and liposuction, which she admitted made her feel terrible. She also recounted trying to change her hairstyle all the time, but the reinvention of Jamie Lee just never took place. Now in her 60s, Jamie is still stunning and it's got nothing to do with surgery. Just a long life of running away from mass maniacs. Number six, Kim Kardashian. The reality star can be tight-lipped about the cosmetic procedures that she has undergone and has repeatedly denied getting plastic surgery. But on a forthcoming episode of The Kardashians, she seems to make a surprising confession. In a peek at season three shared by her sister Chloe on Snapchat, Kim is seen taking voice lessons. While talking to her vocal coach, the Skims founder admitted that she couldn't use her neck muscles to sing because half of hers were probably Botoxed. 
Kim admitted to having a little bit of Botox in a 2022 Allure interview, but claims that she's had no filler, adding that she will never fill her cheeks and she's never filled her lips and all this jazz. While this may be true, back in 2010, Kardashian suffered facial bruises after getting Botox before she turned 30, an experience that was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim claims that the surgeon warned her of all the possible side effects, you know, like they're supposed to do, but because it was the first time receiving the procedure, she flipped out in front of the cameras. Since then, Kim has steered clear of any more Botox-related procedures, claiming that she felt a constant burning sensation for days afterwards, being some of the most painful moments of her life. Number 5. Courtney Cox the Friends star was speaking with the UK Sunday Times style magazine ahead of the launch of her new comedy horror TV show, Shining Veil, vale, in which she plays a depressed novelist who moves from New York City to rural Connecticut with her family. Cox herself is facing up to the fact that she is not far off from 60. She admitted that she initially tried to fight aging with all kinds of cosmetic trends, but eventually realized that she had gone crazy and is now trying to age gracefully. Despite her global superstar status, Cox said her confidence confidence was dented a few years ago after shooting a pilot for a series that was never produced. Thankfully, the treatment she received could be removed. Her face filler slowly dissolved, and it would appear that she has decided to steer clear of any more cosmetic situations, proven by her role in the new Scream series where she really doesn't does not look all that different from her friends' days. Number 4. Sharon Osbourne The talk host, who is 70, admitted that she came to the decision to quit with the surgeries after an October 2021 facelift left her with one eye lower than the other one. TV personality and wife to the Prince of Darkness, Sharon previously spoke about regretting the horrendous facelift with the Sunday Times. She said she had a full facelift that October that left her looking like a mummy in an enormous amount of pain. Not only did the procedure leave her with one droopy eye, but she added that the five and a half hour operation was not worth the time or the price tag. In fact, she kept calling herself a cyclops because they did such a bad job. At least she was able to laugh about the situation. Since her last botched job, Sharon has decided to steer clear of the whole surgical route for now and instead is going with the au natural look. Number three, Tara Reid. Tara was initially a rising star in the world of Hollywood, being featured in several franchises over the years. But as time went on, her career slowed down and she was offered less and less roles. This was thanks to the reality series called Tara Dice, which showcased her penchant for the party lifestyle. A wardrobe malfunction at a party for P. Diddy in 2004, in which one part of her chest was visible for all the world to see, did not help the situation. Shots of her deformed chest quickly circulated on the internet and and Reed says that she was devastated. She had consulted with a plastic surgeon who gave her a completely different size than she had wanted, and Reed also had a procedure called body contouring done by the same surgeon, and she was unhappy with those results as well. Reed went under the procedure again one more time to get the previously botched jobs corrected. She says she saw a therapist for about a year to get help with her confidence issues and has settled down since her paradise days. And on top of that, she's also steered clear from too many more surgeries, urging anyone who is going under to do some research first and, you know, check those sources. Number two, Mickey Rourke. In the 1980s, Mickey Rourke began to find success as an actor. He was praised for his appearance. The Independent compared his youthful appearance to Marlon Brando or James Dean. So when the actor's appearance changed in the 90s, fans started asking questions. And as it turns out, the explanation for the transformation, it makes sense. Speaking on the topic of plastic surgery, Rourke told the Daily Mail in 2009 that most of his was to mend the mess of his face after boxing. Rourke had cartilage taken from his ear to help rebuild his nose, which was an operation that he called one of the most painful things he had ever gone through. His biggest regret comes from not doing enough research before booking the appointment. Seriously, this whole list could just be top 10 times he should have done research. He's quoted as saying he went to the wrong guy to get his face fixed. Well, he has claimed that he's only had had one more surgery to attempt to fix things. He has since become a public advocate for only getting surgery if it's for health purposes, because sometimes you need a part of your arm grafted to your shin. People are wild. At number one, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman has admitted that she regretted using Botox to battle the signs of aging. The Australian actress confessed that she did indeed use the cosmetic injections, but said that it was an unfortunate step in her beauty regime, adding that she was glad to regain some of the movement in her face. She recounts 
once getting Botox at one point and claiming that it had unfortunately left her face looking a little disfigured, ultimately opting out to get another jab. She claims to have hated the way she looked when she first received the shots, very quickly realizing what a mistake she had made. She claims that her beauty comes from a natural place outside of that, saying in interviews that she is not one to advocate for plastic surgery. She claims to use sunscreen, not do any illegal substances, and she takes care of herself. Boring! In at number 10, Dory Kemsley. Dory Kemsley has starred on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since season 7, and her face has changed considerably since she's been in the spotlight. If you look even further back, Dory looks unrecognizable from her younger self, leading many to believe she's had lots of cosmetic enhancements. Dory had addressed these rumors in a recent Instagram AMA. When asked if she'd ever had plastic surgery, she responded, quote, The only plastic surgery that I've had done is my boobs. It drives me crazy when people say I've had plastic surgery on my face. I've done filler and Botox and I work with masterful makeup artists who can transform your face. She has also addressed this topic in multiple reunions for the show. In last year's reunion, she said she thinks it's comical when people claim that she's had a facelift or a bunch of surgeries. She also revealed in this year's reunion that she's never had a nose job. But honestly, a lot of fans do not believe her. And at number 9, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox was at the center of plastic surgery rumors when she all of a sudden looked unrecognizable from her former self. Courtney addressed the rumors and revealed that she did not have plastic surgery, but she did get fillers and Botox every now and then, which led to layers and layers of changes that she just didn't like. Cox told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. And at number 8, Janice Dickinson. Janice Dickinson has been deemed the world's first supermodel, starting her career very early, then transitioning into reality TV and publishing. But as she got older, her looks changed in ways that she didn't like, and she started to get procedures to stay younger. She admitted that she got her first cosmetic procedure at the age of 33. In an interview with ABC News, Janice revealed all her procedures. Quote, Brow lift, yes, I've had my brow lifted. She said I was getting a bit of sag coming down my face, so I lifted them up. Yes, Yes, I've had collagen put in, injections, it's for the fine lines on the face. Because of all her cosmetic work, she looks unrecognizable from who we knew in her modeling days. In at number 7, Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith says she didn't realize how much she had changed from her cosmetic enhancements until she heard what fans were saying about her appearance. She said, quote, I didn't realize until people started saying, oh my god, what has she done? I was so hurt I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all of the shit this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully I look more normal now. Melanie also spoke about how her many divorces and substance abuse affected not only her life but her appearance as well. But following her split from Antonio Banderas, she says she's in a healthy place and is hanging out with her girlfriends. And at number 6, Tara Reid. Tara Reid underwent multiple plastic surgeries after she started a few hit movies, including American Pie and the Pussycat Dolls. In 2004, after many of the surgeries were botched, she was forced to undergo corrective surgeries in 2007. She told Us Weekly, quote, I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. After the botched surgery, she was unable to land the same high caliber projects that she had once before, and she was only considered for spoof movies like Sharknado. She told People in 2008, quote, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. Now she's terrified of ever getting surgery or cosmetic enhancements again. Halfway number 5, Reed Ewig. While Modern Family actor Reed Ewig was suffering from body dysmorphia, he underwent several cosmetic procedures, all of which he regrets. He told the Huffington Post that after all the swelling from the surgeries went down, the results were not all what he expected. Adding, quote, I vowed I would never get cosmetic surgery again, even though I was still deeply insecure about my looks. It took me about six months before I was comfortable with people even looking at me. I wish I could go back and undo all the surgeries. While he was recovering, he decided to take some time away from acting. And at number four, Jennifer Grey. The legendary Dirty Dancing star was known for her unique nose that really made her stand out from the crowd. However, in 1989, after she became a huge star, she decided to get a nose job and made her nose look like every other big star. And sadly, her career shrank alongside her small nose. The nose job was pretty minor, but because her nose was so distinct before, it made her completely unrecognizable. She said about the regrettable procedure, quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. And because nobody recognized her, she didn't have the star power the movies were looking for and she stopped landing roles as a result. In at number 3, Rumor Willis. After Rumor stepped out looking very different from her usual self, fans speculated that she went under the knife. It was rumored that she received a nose job, reduced her chin, and had lip injections. It's not a stretch to assume that she's had work done, as rumors admitted she supports plastic surgery and would be open if she went that route. 
She said, quote, In Hollywood, I feel like there's a big stigma about hiding things, but people aren't stupid. If all of a sudden you jump from being an A cup to like double D's, people know. I just think you have to be who you are and own it, and not be ashamed to feel like you have to apologize. Rumors also opened up about feeling pressure from social media to change her looks because people are more vocal behind a computer screen. And at number two, Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne was first known to the world as a Disney star on the show Shake It Up. But as she grew older, she changed more than what was possible naturally. Bella has been accused of having a nose job, boob job, and getting lip filler. It's speculated that she had her first lip injection when she was just 16 and had a rhinoplasty the following year. As for breast implants, one source claims she went from a 34A to a 34DD. Bella has not commented directly on these surgery accusations, but from the changes, it's assumed that she is not au naturel. And finally, number one, Charlotte Crosby. The Geordie Shore star has been getting surgery ever since she got on TV and has changed. Drastically. It's at the point where some fans are worried she actually has a surgery addiction. Charlotte openly admitted that she'd had a nose job back in 2016. She also admits to getting lip filler once a year and getting a boob job to correct a medical condition she was born with that gave her a quote uniboob. The first cosmetic enhancement she received was a tattoo on her eyebrow so she wouldn't need to fill them in. At first, Charlotte hid her rhinoplasty from fans, but weeks later, she posted a YouTube vlog about the entire process. After she posted photos from a holiday she took to Brazil, the comments accused her of getting more work done. One comment said, She should have stopped with the surgery, Botox, and fillers a long time ago. Another person wrote, Poor girl, her face is badly swollen. Is it an allergy? Kicking off our countdown list number 10 is Cameron Diaz. The blonde beauty has been open about her Botox experience and said when she got it for the first time, she watched her entire face change, which I thought kind of was the point. She has said that she quickly realized her face was never going to return to the way it was and even after the Botox wore off, she knew that the anti-aging procedure just was not for her. She talked to Entertainment Tonight and said, I've tried Botox before where it was like a little tiny touch of something. It changed my face in such a weird way that I was like, no, I don't want to be like that. I'd rather see my face aging than a face that doesn't belong to me at all. Honestly, that last little line of her quote, I think that is the best advice I've heard when it comes to having cosmetic procedures done. Like, think about it. I would rather have my aging face than a face that doesn't look like mine. That's some good advice. Up next, number nine is Nicole Kidman. Believe it or not, the movie star has insecurities too, and similar to Diaz, she wanted to try the anti aging procedures of Botox. Her face has always looked like a porcelain doll, even before the Botox, but she wasn't happy with it and wanted the change. But she didn't end up liking the change that it made to her face, and she said she could not move it. In 2013, she said, I did try Botox, unfortunately, but I got out of it, and now I can finally move my face again. The the actress has stopped getting the procedure done and said she tries to take care of her skin as naturally as possible now by wearing sunscreen, not smoking, and taking care of herself just overall in general. Cruising to number eight is Katie Price. The English model and TV personality has always had a changing look throughout the years, but she's been open about it and said she regrets some of the surgery decisions she's made when she was younger. She spoke about it with Daily Mail and said that she urges people to do their research before going under the knife because it was something that she did not do. She said, I wish I had known that when I was younger because I could have saved myself a lot of heartache and surgery. But despite having regrets, she has continued doing more. And in 2019, articles surfaced everywhere saying her family is worried about her plastic surgery addiction. Her family and friends were practically begging her to stop after she started looking like a totally different person. Moving on to number seven, we have Khloe Kardashian. Coincidentally enough, her other sisters, Kylie and Courtney, were on the other parts to this list. Coincidence? I think not. So even though there is a ton of girls out there who look up to them and probably wish they looked like them, they actually regret some of the changes they've made to their bodies and face. One procedure that Chloe had done and regretted quickly was face fillers. She didn't like what it did to her face, so she went to try and have it reversed, but said that that process was a lot worse than the initial procedure. She spoke to MTV and said, face fillers didn't work for me. I looked crazy and I still think the effects are in there. I went to have it all dissolved like three times. Times, which we can imagine probably did more damage to her face than anything. Like, 
having all that removed after. Up next, number six is Janice Dickinson. She has been given the titles of the world's first supermodel, but has gotten several procedures done to alter her natural beauty, which has left her looking like a completely different person. She's had a breast enlargement, a tummy tuck, facelifts, and liposuction. But the one procedure she regrets most is her breast implants. This regret came after she was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer back in 2016. The doctor actually told her that it's more challenging to detect abnormalities with in a breast when a woman has breast implants. So there is a chance that her cancer could have been detected sooner if she did not have them in. She talked about it and said, if I had to play my life over again, I would never have gotten breast implants in the first place. Happy with your list number five is Giselle Budshin. The Brazilian model and actress also had regrets with her breast implants. She admitted that after having two kids, she was unhappy with her breasts, so in 2015, she decided to get a boob job. But she later regretted that decision. When talking about it with People Magazine, she said, when I woke up, I was like, what have I done? I felt like I was living in a body I did not recognize. For the first year, I wore baggy clothes because I felt so uncomfortable. She also revealed that she first had them done because people kept commenting on the fact that they were uneven due to her breastfeeding. She said she felt vulnerable and had to change them because as a model, she was always praised for her body. Oh my God, imagine having that done and then feeling worse than you did before. And then for a year, you're like, that was pointless because I feel even worse. Oh, that hurts me. We've made it number four and we have Kathy Griffin. The comedian is known for her wit and blunt personality, but her looks have always been a topic in conversation. Throughout her career, she has relied on plastic surgery and ongoing treatments, but there is one procedure that nearly killed her back in 2009. In her memoir, she published photos of her botched liposuction that left her looking like she described a CSI crime scene. She wanted to actually publish the photos as a public service announcement to try and warn other women who might be considering getting the surgery done. She was left botched after she suffered from some complications. She went four years without any plastic surgery after that, but then ended up changing her mindset about it and actually went on to have a facelift, a nose job, eyelid surgery, Botox, and more liposuction. That's crazy. After an experience like that, how do you ever go under the knife again? That's gotta be traumatizing. The pictures are like, <clears throat> Taking over the third spot is Melissa Gilbert. The actress regretted her breast augmentation so much that she eventually had her implants removed. She opened up about it on her blog, explaining her big decision. Spending a lot of her life with a flat chest, she felt insecurities and decided to get a boob job after the birth of her first son and after her ex-husband had some negative things to say about her chest. That pisses me right off. So when she got divorced, she made a decision to get them done. But years after, she started feeling uncomfortable when doing normal activities and had concerns for her health. She said that she would take a Zumba class and fear that she would end up with two black eyes again. So she had the implants removed and regretted ever getting them done in the first place. Man, screw her ex-husband. In the number two spot is Jessica Simpson. She revealed a lot about her personal life in January 2020 when she released her memoir titled Open Book. She opened up about her experience with plastic surgery and some of the regrets that she had. In 2015, she had two tummy tuck surgeries, which left her with some complications after the second procedure. She explained why she got it done and said, I wanted to get rid of the stretch marks and loose skin left sagging from my back to back pregnancies. I was so ashamed of my body at this point that I wouldn't let Eric see me without a t-shirt on, Eric being her husband. Turns out she got an infection from one of the surgeries and she was in the hospital for nine days. She was vomiting so much, the doctors thought she was going to or something and told her that she might need a blood transfusion. She also said that she had regrets when she got lip fillers done and was happy when those faded out after just a few months. In the number one spot is Gwyneth Paltrow. There has always been speculation and rumors going around about the work that she allegedly had done to her face. But she does stand firm on the fact that she's never gone under the knife, technically, when it came to her face. So it's really whatever you believe. But besides that, she has admitted to having many cosmetic procedures done, and one she regrets the most is Botox. This seems to be a trend that people aren't happy with Botox. Just saying. In 2013, she told Harper's Bazaar, I've tried everything. I would be scared to go under the knife, but you know, talk to me when I'm 50. Except I won't do Botox again because I looked crazy. I looked like Joan Rivers. Not very nice, but coincidentally enough, Joan was on one of my other parts to this list, and she also regrets her plastic surgery. <sighs> this is a very big trend. Maybe we should all just not get it done. At number 10, Amanda Lepore. 
American model and socialite Amanda Lepore is one person who isn't shy at all about the plastic surgery procedures that she has had and how much she's changed with each surgery. The transgender model, performer, and now author, who made a name for herself in Hollywood by just being herself, altered a lot of her body over the years, and she's even claimed to have the most expensive body on earth due to all of her surgeries. She's written and talked about all of the procedures that she's had done, and because it is such a long list, you can see how her looks have evolved so much over the years. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip, and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones, and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. She even got botched ones when she got silicone lip injections because she got too much filler and her lips got way too big for her liking and she looked so different. Because she said that she got them done about 20 times and went a little overboard, she had to get them reduced because they just got way too big. She's happy with the way that she looks and she likes to evolve her appearance, so I love that for her. I really do. In at number 9, Jessica Simpson. Throughout her career, Jessica Simpson has changed a lot, at some points looking unrecognizable from her former self. Many credited the change in her appearance to simple weight gain, while others speculated she got cosmetic work done. Well, she just exposed the truth on Instagram, revealing that she was suffering with alcoholism that caused a dramatic change in her appearance. In the long caption, she describes how she looked unrecognizable during her battle with alcoholism. In the photo, her face looks incredibly puffy and inflamed. She explained the photo was from 2017 at the height of her addiction. She said in part, quote, This person in the early morning of November 1st is an unrecognizable version of myself. I had so much self-discovery to unlock and explore. Jessica also admitted in her 2020 memoir called Open Book that she had two tummy tucks in 2015 to get rid of loose skin from back-to-back -back pregnancies. She got an infection after the second procedure and was in the hospital for nine days to recover. At number eight, Farrah Abraham. Teen mom star Farrah Abraham has been pretty open about her cosmetic procedures and has been under the knife a number of times, but it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, where she looks nothing like herself. But let me tell you how she got in that mess in the first place. In 2015, the reality star opened up in an interview where she spoke out about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that when she got the procedure done, she knew right away that something wasn't right when the anesthesia wasn't working for her. She didn't think too much of it at the time, but as it would turn out, she should have said something to the doctor sooner. After the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things went from bad to worse. Turns out, Farrah had a really intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy photos. Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that it was a really scary experience for her and she thought that she would never look like herself again. In at number 7, Christina Aguilera. In 2018, Christina stepped out with an entirely new appearance, which got fans talking. Her face looked very puffy and swollen, possibly from getting too much filler. Surgeons and fans had tons of reactions to her new look. One plastic surgeon said, quote, Christina may have the appearance of fuller cheeks due to increased volume from fillers such as Voluma or Restylane. Another said, I believe that Christina's puffiness can be attributed to overfilled facial fillers like belly fill or Voluma. She probably tried to fill out any wrinkles and give her face some youthful fullness. Her lips are also fuller, most likely from lip fillers. In 2015, it was also reported that Christina got a nose job. One surgeon said that he believes her doctor used cartilage to rebuild her nose after her first nose job was botched. At number six, Justin Judlica. Justin Judlica, also known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he was on the show Botched and became a fan favorite, so obviously I had to include him in this list. Justin became famous because of his exaggerated looks, because he made it his life's mission to become a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better. Obviously, Obviously, Justin wasn't born looking the way he does now, and if you look at old pictures of him, you can really see how drastically different he looks. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received about a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of stopping his transformation anytime soon. Justin said that he became obsessed with his appearance after growing up watching the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and recalling that everyone on that show had plastic surgery. To him, he believed that this lifestyle meant that you were successful, and so he's made it his mission to look like an unrecognized 
recognizable plastic doll. Halfway at number 5, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson first gained fame through the Jackson 5 as a child, and as he grew up, he started to look unrecognizable from his child self. At some point, his appearance changed so much, it was clear that he was undergoing plastic surgery. Much of it was deemed botched by the general public. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs, as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claimed to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. When asked about his nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helps me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. However, many plastic surgeons speculate he had far more than two nose jobs and that he developed nasal cripples due to the lack of tissue to breathe through. At number four, Jamie Lee Curtis. You wouldn't really guess it, but at one point, Jamie Lee Curtis got plastic surgery and she ended up looking a little unrecognizable. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before she shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking a little puffy. Well it turns out that she got a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face looked so different. Jamie recalled feeling super embarrassed because she had just changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, it quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. And at number 3, Ariel Winter. Ariel gained notoriety as a teen star acting on Modern Family. Since leaving the show, her look has gotten incredibly mature, and many think this isn't solely from genetics. On one Instagram post, fans were calling out Ariel for changing, saying that they liked how she looked before plastic surgery. Ariel was so offended by the comment that she actually responded to it, saying, quote, I appreciate you wanting to help girls love themselves the way they are, but you're also kind of cutting someone, me, down, which isn't what I think you were trying to do. I also didn't get plastic surgery. That's also not being supportive of women if you're just assuming something about the way they look. She's been open about getting a breast reduction in 2015, but many think she is lying and had more procedures. It's also been speculated she receives lip filler along with getting a small nose job. At number two, Barry Manilow. Some celebrities aren't shy about the work they've had done, and others go to great lengths to hide it. One celebrity who has continuously denied their plastic surgery is singer Barry Manilow, because even though there's been a lot of proof to indicate he's had work done, and the fact that he looks unrecognizable after all of those procedures, he still claims to be all natural. In an interview, Barry claimed to have only undergone surgeries and treatments for his health, like getting hip surgery and receiving steroid shots, but judging by the way that he looks nowadays, a lot of people aren't buying that and have pretty much revealed that he's been lying about getting work done for cosmetic purposes. It's been reported that over the years, Barry has undergone several procedures, including having had three facelifts and eyelid surgery. There are even photos of Barry from 2003 showing him leaving the plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. In the photos, he's seen wrapped up in bandages while wearing a disguise of sunglasses and a blonde wig in order to avoid being recognized. But we all know that it's him. He's not fooling anyone. And finally, at number one, Celine Dion. In 2018, following the passing of her longtime husband, sources say that Celine tried to improve her look with cosmetic procedures, but the procedures were botched and she looked nothing like herself. The source said, quote, she totally lost her looks and is unrecognizable. The word is she went under the knife to try and give herself a fresh start, but whatever she's done, it clearly hasn't turned out very well. One plastic surgeon who did not treat Celine, Dr. Dave David, noted the changes are so drastic he wouldn't recognize her if he saw her out. Quote, she looks terrible, haggard, and homely. The doctor believes she had a nose job, fillers in her cheeks and under the eyes, Botox in her upper lip, and had her eyebrows thinned and lightened. And it's not a stretch to assume Celine had some procedures done as she revealed in the past that she is open to receiving facial filler. And at number 10, Courtney Cox. The legendary Friends actor finally gave in to pressures to get filler and Botox, and she hated the result that it had on her face. She said that she would get some sort of filler here and there, but she didn't realize that they were all basically layering on top of each other, which led to a look that she hated. When speaking about the procedures, she told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. She also made the change back to natural for her work, explaining her face didn't have the natural movement with the fillers, adding quote, you need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend. And at number 9, Heidi Montag. The Hill star is famous for going overboard with plastic surgery. She infamously turned her girl next door look into that 
of a Barbie doll. She even underwent a whopping 10 procedures in one day in 2010, putting her health at risk. Montag revealed years later that she regretted making so many changes to her body, saying, quote, I was definitely way in over my head. I kind of wanted a few enhancements and then it kind of got out of hand. I wasn't really told the repercussions and what would happen, emotionally and physically, and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. Following all her plastic surgery procedures, that was all anybody knew her for, and she was no longer cast in any projects that were not related to her cosmetic enhancements. And at number 8, Scott Carrot Top Thompson. Carrot Top is no stranger to worst celebrity plastic surgery lists, and his appearance has changed considerably over the years. One doctor told MakeMeHeal.com that it appears as though Thompson has undergone a brow lift along with Botox injections, lip plumping, and laser peels, which is proved by his disappearing freckles. It's also been speculated that he's taken steroids and they are responsible for his buff appearance, but he denies getting anything done. When speaking about it in 2015, he told Florida Today, quote, I never had any plastic surgery. I can see why people think that because I got really big for a while, but I've never got any work done. I mean, if I was going to have plastic surgery, I would look better than this. Keratop has had incredible success in his career, specifically in Vegas, but some say his career could be still thriving if not for his changing appearance. And at number 7, Yolanda Hadid. While Yolanda was battling her Lyme disease, she decided to reverse every cosmetic procedure that she could to be completely natural. This all took place when she was filming The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so it was captured on the show. First, she decided to get her breast implants removed and then remove all of her fillers. She shared the news with her Instagram followers, writing in the caption of her post that she was quote 55 and smiling from the inside out, finally back to the original 1964, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox extensions, and all the BS I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it almost killed me. Because of her desire to live life naturally in every way possible, she's also stepped back from working. And at number 6, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is known for her signature pout that she achieved with the help of fillers. And with those lips, she became a billionaire, selling lip kits so people could try and achieve the lips that Kylie had. But Kylie actually regretted how large she made her lips at one point. While the sisters were being interviewed by Allure, Kylie revealed their lips got way too big. Apparently, her sisters even had to set her straight and tell her to relax on the filler. And even though it can be argued that Kylie's cosmetic procedures brought her career to new heights, it's all anyone can talk about when discussing the star now. And plastic surgery and fillers will likely be linked to her forever. Halfway number 5, Khloe Kardashian. When the Kardashian sisters first started their rise to fame, Khloe seemed to always be the odd one out. She was constantly referred to as the ugly duckling of the family. But as time went on, Khloe did her best to reverse that image by getting multiple plastic surgeries to change her face and body. Her body even became such a point of conversation that she started the show Revenge Body. The whole premise of the show is that people use Khloe's help to transform their bodies along with their lives. However, there was a lot of controversy around the show and Khloe giving workout advice because many are convinced that Khloe got her killer body with surgery. This is because her body is an entirely different shape than before and it definitely doesn't look natural. Things got even worse when an unedited photo of Khloe's body was leaked and she reacted by trying to get it taken off the internet, proving she's not even happy with her body unless it's edited. And at number 4, Courtney Love. Courtney Love is best known as the singer for the band Hole as well as the widow of Kurt Cobain. However, she also has a reputation for significantly changing her looks through plastic surgery. She started off with a grunge punk aesthetic but slowly changed up the classic Hollywood look. Her most noticeable change has been her nose job. Love has admitted that she has changed her look significantly since she was the poster child for 90s grunge. She got her lips injected and had a nose job, but now she says that she regrets it. It's also changed the way that her fans look at her, and they really don't like that she's so different than before. And at number 3, Vivica A. Fox. Fox is a popular actress in the 90s, starring in movies like Set It Off and Two Can Play That Game. She also did a lot of modeling and was known for her sweet and classic look. However, things changed in her career when she decided to get some work done and it drastically changed her look. Most noticeably was a nose job and some fillers. Since her career took a huge hit after her face had noticeably changed, we can assume the changes put a big damper on her career. And since she's only appeared in a few movies since, as well as being on The Celebrity Apprentice, I guess that could hold true. And at number 2, Donatella Versace. Donatella got her fame through running high-end fashion brand Versace with her late brother, Gianni. And in the decades since she's been a public figure, her face has changed considerably, most would say for the worse. Over time, she's become unrecognizable, with her nose and lips changing the most. It's
It's gotten so bad that Donatella has landed herself on pretty much every worst plastic surgery list that there is. Donatella is only admitted to getting Botox, nothing more, so she has not admitted to regretting any of her procedures. But since her reputation has taken such a hit because of her changing face, we can assume it's had a negative impact on her career as well. At the very least, it's made her less respected by the public. And finally, number one, Adrian Balon. The real host and former Disney Channel star has opened up about regretting her decision to get breast implants in her teens. She told E! News in 2014, quote, When I was 19 years old, I actually did get breast implants. Probably one of my greatest regrets. I went from having an insecurity that I didn't have big breasts to now looking like an adult film star. And I was like, uh, this isn't great. She also revealed that she got the procedure right before she was set to film Cheetah Girls 2, and it was quite a shock for Disney executives. But she says the implants did not last, and she decided to get them taken out shortly after. She also added that the implants stretched out her skin, adding, quote, it was not the smartest decision for my career and just for myself. It was wanting to feel like a woman. Thankfully, she was able to fix things and has had a great career so far. I love her on the reel. <laughs> Starting us off at number 10 is Victoria Beckham. The fashion designer and former Spice Girl is beautiful nonetheless, but has publicly admitted to regretting her decision on getting plastic surgery. She said what she regrets the most are her breast implants that she got when she was just a teenager. So much so that she ended up getting them removed. She was 18 years old when she first got them done, and during an interview in 2017, she said, I should probably say, don't mess with your boobs. All those years I denied it. Stupid. A sign of insecurity. Just celebrate what you've got. I personally remember idolizing the Spice Girls like religiously when I was young, so to hear that even she would suggest not getting them is very important. I'm honestly really glad that she's open and honest about her experience with it because I think especially for young girls who still look up to the Spice Girls, this could be very eye opening for them. Up next number 9 is Cher. There is no denying that the 74 year old icon still looks incredible for her age and we can probably say that plastic surgery has helped with that, but she has openly admitted that. She's always been open about the work she's had done and has cracked jokes about her facelift. But she doesn't regret anything that she's had done to her new face transformation. The one thing she regrets is her breast augmentation. I'm already seeing a little trend happening here. She told People Magazine that the surgery was a nightmare. She said they were really botched in every way. If anything, they were worse after than before. Clearly, that was not the goal when going to get the procedure done, but she has been able to hide it well, and certainly it has not hurt her confidence. Well, that we can tell. Sliding us number eight is Courtney Cox. The friend star looks a lot different than when we saw her playing the iconic role of Monica Geller on the TV series. And that's because gradually over time, she's had a lot of work done to her face, which she now regrets. She had an open talk about it with New Beauty and said that it all started when doctors told her that a little injection and filler here or there would not do any harm. But things went too far and the actress said she did not look like herself anymore, which is not what she wanted. She said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look more like myself. Everything is going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made me look fake. She also admitted to stopping treatment and procedures like all together. Regardless, she was beautiful as Monica and she is still beautiful as Courtney. But in pictures, comparison, they do look like two different people. She did not need to touch her face. She was so freaking pretty. That like hurts me. It literally kills me when like stunning people fix themselves. Fix. Moving on to number seven, we have Chrissy Teigen. She is now known for being a mother to John Legend's kids who tweets sarcastic comments and has her own cookbook and company, but she was once a model with big dreams. In May 2020, she talked to Glamour UK and revealed that she had breast implants done when she was just 20 years old. She said she did it because she was modeling swimsuits at the time and when she laid on her back in the photos, you know, she wanted them to look perky. But then she had babies and said the milk made them deflate. She ended up announcing on her Instagram recently that she was going to have her implants completely removed because she's simply over it. Chrissy seemed excited for the surgery, stating that she wants to be able to zip up a dress in her size and lay on her belly with just pure comfort. When she got them done at 20, she was a model regardless because she was stunning and admits that she didn't need the boobs. You know, she just kind of wanted them. And she was young and a model. I can just imagine the pressures at that age, especially swimsuits. 
In at number six is Mickey Rourke. In the prime of his acting career, he was a total heartthrob, but there was a time when he had a different career where he took some shots to his handsome little face. He was once an amateur boxer and said that after some injuries, he underwent some plastic surgery in hopes to fix it, but admitted that he chose the wrong doctor. Never a good thing. Back in 2017, when pictures of his new face surfaced online, people were in complete shock with how different he looked. He talked about his decision for plastic surgery and said, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Some of the injuries he had was a broken nose twice and a smashed cheekbone. He said he doesn't regret the decision to get his face fixed, but he regrets the doctor he went to. Yeah. We have made it halfway through and we have Tara Reid. The American Pie hottie has been open and honest about her plastic surgery experience in hopes to help other women before choosing to get work done. She got breast implants in 2004, which caused issues for her body in other places. She said that her stomach started to ripple and caused her to have a hernia, leaving her with a huge bump next to her belly button. She regretted it so much that she said it was the stupidest thing she's ever done and she actually had the procedure reversed just two years later. She also had to get liposculpting done on her stomach to fix what had happened. Even after getting her breast augmentation reversed, she said that she was left again with deformed breasts. Oh, it's always a risk, you guys. You know, there are a lot who do have success, but <laughs> that's so scary. Cruising into number four is Jennifer Grey. The Dirty Dancing star has always had a very distinctive face and was known for her stunning looks. But when she decided to get rhinoplasty, it changed everything and she said it was the worst decision she's ever made. She said the operation completely changed her face and it ruined her entire career. When speaking about it during an interview, she said, I went in the operating room as a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was like being in a witness protection program or being invisible. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of my nose job. Now, I don't think she looks bad. Like it's not like the surgery like botched her face physically, but she does look like a completely different person. Like when I saw pictures, I was like literally different person. So I do understand what she means. And that one's really sad. In the third spot on our list is Kourtney Kardashian. Plastic surgery is no surprise to the Kardashian sisters, but it might be surprising to know that Kourtney regrets some of it. In 2011, she was talking to Showbiz Spy and said that she wished she didn't get her breast implants when she was 22 or at all. She said, I had my boobs done, but if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. I was so cute before. I've realized that I was made to look a certain way and I'm considering removing them. Now, obviously this interview was years ago and if you see her, these days she has not removed them but her opinion still stands and honestly it's probably even more so now because she's a mother of three so you know she's had to gone through the whole breastfeeding thing the milk and she probably just sees the whole thing from a different perspective now rolling into number two is Joan Rivers going under the knife has never been a secret when it comes to this comedian she's publicly talked about her procedures which is a pretty decent list apparently she's had a facelift a nose job a breast reduction chin tucks Botox, collagen, eye procedures, and lipo. She's actually happy to have the work done, but one thing she regrets is the lipo because it did not go as planned, which I think we know by now is a huge risk. She explained that she did not research the doctor enough before going, and the result of it just was not smooth. She also said if she could go back in time, she would have never done it. Maybe not with this doctor. Like, I feel like she might have done it with another one since she has had all the other work done. Obviously, she's not opposed to it, but didn't go as planned. Earning the number one spot on our list is Heidi Montag. The Hill star takes the prize after having 10 surgeries done at one time and giving herself a total transformation, leaving her to look like a totally different person. She once wanted to look like Barbie with size H boobs for Heidi. Like literally, those were her words. But now she's an advocate for girls and encourages people to accept themselves rather than getting work done. She said she completely regrets it and wishes that she could take it all back. During an interview, she said, surgery ruined my career and my personal life and just brought a lot of negativity into my world. I wish I could jump into a time machine and take it all back. I would never do it again and I never recommend it to anyone. She explained that at first, she only went in there wanting a few enhancements, but then it just 
just got completely out of hand. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Carmen Electra. It's not surprising that the Playboy model would feel the pressure or just simply want to get breast implants during her career. The Baywatch actress has been a sex symbol in the industry on more than one occasion. She openly admitted to getting breast implants but says that she wishes she never did because her breasts were nice before the operation. In 2010, she spoke about it and said, I had breast surgery over 10 years ago, taking me from a 32B to a double D, which took a bit of time to get used to. I didn't want to go as big as that. It's nice that I don't have to wear a push up bra anymore, but I could have left myself alone. I think I was fine the way I was. I feel like that's often the case. You do something, then you're like, you know what? It wasn't all that bad before. She revealed she felt pressure to get the implants from another woman woman who had them and who told her that her life and career would improve if she got them. This woman was left unnamed, but I want to know who told you to get them. Up next, number nine is Tori Spelling. She's been in the public eye her entire life. She was just a teenager when she starred in her dad's drama series, Beverly Hills 90210. Since the beginning of the show, fans have speculated if she's undergone plastic surgery and almost 30 years later, people are still commenting on it. She has admitted to her cosmetic procedures and a plastic surgery operation, which she now regrets. She said when it comes to going under the knife, she has only had her nose and her breasts done and the rest were all cosmetic. But she does regret getting her breast implants ever since she became a mom and realized the effect it had. The mother of five talked about it and said, I got my boobs done in my early 20s and if I had known it would or could possibly impact the production of milk, I would have never had them done. I don't know how she didn't know that. I, don't they tell you? Like, don't they say this to a young woman? I mean, even I knew it. I even Google breast implants and it's like, you know, I feel like that's just kind of known. No, no, you're putting plastic in there and stuff. Of course, breast milk is like, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. I hate to say it, but I feel like we just know that. <laughs> In spot number eight is Courtney Love. No one on this list has had the bad luck that Courtney has when it comes to her surgeries. She has been open about the three procedures she has had done and that she was not happy with any of them. She had liposuction done on her butt and said that it actually ruined it and she told everyone not to get lipo done on theirs. She also had a mouth enhancement, which she said, I quote, I just want the mouth God gave me back. It was perfectly cute and I had nice big lips. So that is two procedures so far that she was not happy with. On top of those two, she also had a nose job which she corrected because it was botched in 2007 and said that she hated it and compared it to a little beak. By the sounds of it, her natural self made her happier than any of these plastic surgeries did. I think this is a lesson for us. Ladies. Cruising into number seven is Jamie Lee Curtis. She's always been the type of person to say it how it is. And before she fully embraced her natural beauty, she admits to experiencing a little bit. She talked to Mirror about her experience and thoughts on plastic surgery and said, I've done it all. I've had a little plastic surgery. I've had a little lipo. I've had a little Botox. And you know what? None of it works, none of it. She went on to say she felt like she looked worse after the fact and that you start to become a caricature of yourself. Honestly guys, if this list doesn't have you like thinking twice about things maybe you wanted to get done, then I don't know what will. Because you know, even doing the research, not that I want plastic surgery, but I was like, damn, there's a lot of people who have had it and regret it. And that's just a fact. Moving on to number six, we have Kylie Jenner. There is no denying that Kylie's lips have played a huge part in the success of her career. She was one of the first people to get lip injections and make such a big impact in the beauty community, which is weird because tons of people have had it done before she did, but hers were such a drastic change that people started doing the Kylie Jenner challenge and suctioning a glass to their mouth like sucking in the air just to make their lips bigger. Over time, Kylie has been able to create her own makeup line with her infamous kit called Lip Kits. Basically, it's like lip gloss and liner and stuff to make your lips look bigger. But believe it or not, she has actually regretted the size of her lips. I'm astonished. This actually shocks me, I'm not gonna lie. Her sister Kim interviewed her for Allure and asked what her biggest regret is. And Kylie said, I definitely made my lips a little too big at one point. I got excited and felt like I needed to do a lot. And then you guys were like, Kylie, you need to chill. Then I had to go back and have it fixed and it was a crazy process. Thank God I didn't end up unbotched. Honestly, I think with lips, it's probably so easy to put a little too much in there. You know what I mean? 
That'd be like, that's so risky. And it's on your face. Happy the list number five is Kenny Rogers. He began making changes to his appearance early on in his career, and it's one thing in his life that he regrets. In his book, Luck or Something Like It, he said that at one point he became aware of his professional image and felt like reinventing himself would be necessary for him to thrive in his career and stay relevant. He said that if you are afraid to change your image in this type of industry, then your time is limited which is like a really sad reality. When asked why he decided to get plastic surgery, he said at the time he had the money to do it and he also had the time off, so he just kind of did it. He openly admits to going under the knife and said that it was a bad decision, but that he has accepted it and learned how to live with it. I feel like that's so true. That's like Heidi Montag. Like she was just losing all her fame and then bam, just I'm gonna reinvent myself and try to get attention. Like you get attention no matter what, but like you're, why would you stay relevant just because of plastic surgery? Like you'll make a few headlines, but then like, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's sad. Here now at number four is Sharon Osbourne. The talk show host has candidly admitted the extensive list of plastic surgery she has had done on her body and face. She has spent over $120,000 on different procedures, which include liposuction, a neck lift, a boob job, and different work on her face. She has admitted to her breast implants being botched, which is one of the reasons why she said no to getting any more work done. During an interview, she said that her face now looks like plastic. She said she wishes that she had never done it and even went as far as calling it abuse on her body. She claims that she's completely done with going under the knife. All right guys, at number three, we have Denise Richards. She opened up to Us Weekly about her horrific experience with plastic surgery. She had breast implants done at a young age and said the experience was a total nightmare. She explained the story and said she got breast implants when she was just 19 years old but the doctor put in bigger implants than what she asked for. So she went to a different surgeon to have them corrected and that doctor gave her even bigger implants. What a nightmare. She said it was a nightmare and that she felt vulnerable given her age and where she was at in her career. She said, I felt vulnerable. I was getting ready to film wild things and I didn't want to get into a lawsuit with some plastic surgeon. It wasn't right what the doctor did but it is what it is. She now encourages women to embrace her natural beauty and sexuality before making that decision. Me too. Don't do it. Rolling as number two is Jane Fonda. The 82 year old actress has said she regrets going under the knife when she was younger and said she hates the fact that she felt the need to ever alter herself. When asked about it, she said she started to get work done when she got tired of looking tired when she wasn't actually tired. Story of my life. I feel like I just always look tired. Even when I'm not tired, I look tired. These bags, they don't lie. It wasn't until recently in years that she has opened up about her surgeries. Normally, for a long time, she was really shy about it. But she spoke on it and said, I'm not proud of the fact that I've had it, but I grew up so defined by my looks. I was taught to think that if I wanted to be loved, I had to be thin and pretty. That leads to a lot of trouble. People always compliment her on how good she looks for her age, because she looks incredible. But she's quick to say that she only looks that good with the help of plastic surgery. Damn, she does look good though. That plastic be holding up all right. <laughs> looks good. In the number one spot is Alicia Duvall. The former glamour model revealed she was addicted to plastic surgery to a point where she could have died. She has spent more than 2.5 million dollars on cosmetic procedures and has gone under the knife more than 350 times. She almost died on the operating table and since then she has vowed to never get any more work done. She regrets her decision to get so much work done and said that she ended up looking like a fake Barbie. She said, I looked fake and that Barbie image does not appeal to me anymore. I want to look natural and go back to how I looked. She actually regretted it so much that she started seeing a therapist to help with her addiction and she started the process of undoing all the procedures that she originally had done. She has gone on to warn young girls about the dangers of plastic surgery and says she often gives advice to other young celebrities in the industry, which is probably for the best because in the beginning is when the pressures are high. 